the thing I was complaining about when people who follow our Cyrus's podcast, etc., will know is that I'm a huge fan of punctuality. Huge means it's almost the greatest quality for me, and because being in India, it's such a rare quality. So it's it's almost up there with chivalry and you know courage and honor and all that. You're a Parsi. Thing. It's not that. It's not that. Parsi is punctual. But there's a whole chapter about missing planes, oh, yeah. missing trains, and then and transferring it to your sister. Transferring it to your sister. Okay, yeah, take yeah, us I'm, through. Yeah. I mean, I was like, oh God, this guy and I, how yeah, we would, our relationship would have ended. Yeah. You know, I'm in Delhi, the bugger's not even reached Santa Cruz. Yeah. yeah. So my mother grew up in Ramnagar. Her father was the principal of a school there, which was owned by the Maharaja. The Maharaja of Banaras lives in Ramnagar. Right. So apparently they went and they shot a tiger. And there was a cub. Oh. And because they knew is that my mother... Ja Jackie Shroff's son. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Couldn't resist. Apologize. Absolutely. Apologize. Oh. So he gave the tiger cub to my mother and her uh, twin. Wow. And finally it started growing, obviously. So they had to give it up, but they were oh. heartbroken. God, but they, also had have, they also had all these... So it comes from my mother, this mad craziness about animals. Mm -hmm. So my niece also, for years... Her ID was a cat called Felix, mm. who was the love of her life. Mm. They didn't see Mishka. Her name was Mishka. That's how mad they are. But So do you believe that they were... That's the same niece who was your fan and met you. Oh, Mishka. nice. In 2000. By the way, we've started. There was, <laughs> there was a huge party hmm? in the Oberoi right. many years ago. And you remember Seher Bedi? Of course. Ah. Oh, the launch of a thing yeah. in 2000. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And that's where we spoke to you. My niece. My niece was a great fan. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah. Ouch. And this was that many years ago. G slot. G slot. Yes. Welcome to our show. We are discussing, reminiscing about where we possibly met. If I get my date right, it's like 2000 or 2001, that far back. But you're unforgettable. So. Unforgettable. He thought I was catering, asked for a drink, I served <laughs> him, he gave me a 10 rupee tip. 2000, that was a big tip. Now it doesn't work. Uh, we're here with a man, well, it's called, let me first put the book up so you can see it. It's called Ramblings of a Bandra Boy by Joy Roy, as I call him. But then there's also the Bimal factor. But that, that you know, when you're son of a, a, a huge icon and all that, you've carried it everywhere. So did you, by cho I want to begin with this, did you by choice keep Bimal in the name? I'll tell you. There was this... Uh, Tarot card, come psychic or whatever, called Sunita Menon. Of course. Yeah. It's been on our show, Love okay. Line, Love yeah. Line show, in MTV, yeah. So she told me, she said, uh, you have to add a middle name. Right. And actually, I did have a middle name. Which is? Which is Shankar. And I hated it. So Joy I, Shankar Roy. I like Joy Roy. Yeah. Joy Roy sounds but like the, the, old. That, you know, I met this, uh, first time I was introduced to a very interesting guy, Ram Rehman. The hmm. name itself is the name. Ram Rehman. Yeah. So what in India that would have been. <laughs> Just no, kidding. his father was Habib Rehman, an architect. Mother was Indrani. A so they kept both the so cultures, kept both the cultures yeah. alive. Huh? So the first time he met me, he said, Joy Roy, yeah. Flash Dash. So he said, how can you go through life with a name like Why that? Why not? It's so catchy. Anywhere in the world. It rhymes. Yeah, but anywhere in the world, in most languages or whatever, they'll pick it up. Imagine. Joy Roy, 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 Joy, it'll be, I, we, let's change. Never mind. Let's change. Second publication of this book, we will change the name. But Sunita Menon said for luck, etc. For luck. So you've not, so she you've, said, she said add anything. She but, said add B. But then all so, your life people. Then Joy B oh. Roy. Like, again, it's oh. like I want to be Roy. So I mean like. Big JB name. Roy is nice. I like JB Roy. You like it's, got, it's got a nice uh, sort of cadence to it. JB Roy. It sounds almost Gujarati. Too Joby late. Roy. Oh, Too nice. Late. Nice. No, I, I was just asking because, you know, when you have... No, been... I'm not using it to for uh, promoting my father or the no, fact. No, not that, but it people just that are reacting. Seemed... People reacting. Because they'll say, oh, your Bimal Roy is, you know... Excuse me. Gen Z people have never heard of Bimal Roy. I hate So sometimes place. people say... Every day we beat so them up. It's so embarrassing, you know. No. This is Bimal Roy's son. Blank. No, no, they'll Google immediately. They I'm, don't. They're not interested. Uh, my version of that's much smaller version is at airports when the father or mother say, oh, we grew up watching you. And the five-year-old kid is like, eh, who's this fat <laughs> uncle? You know? And then, then the father Googles and shows him so, while I'm standing there. So if someone of your age can feel that way, imagine. All me. the time. All the time. We've been redundant since the 90s. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go to the book first. I want to remember what I've just read. Okay. Um, 
on the on the cover, the first thing says ramblings of a Bandra boy. It's a please pick up the book, folks. It's uh, it's not just about Bandra. Bandra is mentioned Mount Mary. There's one chapter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's all it's it's all over. It's it's your story basically, yeah. and it goes up and down a lot. Uh, from childhood, there's San Jose suddenly in the middle. Mm -hmm. it, but you you that's why you use the word ramblings. I like that. It's almost like today I have this thought, and you go back into that memory. The whole book is a mistake. Oh, I mean, in the sense, not a mistake. Mm. But the compiling of it. So what happened is that I had. This but I friend. like that non-linear style. Thank God. I mean, uh, I, I, I thought you done it. I thought you done it purposely. You know, like you. No, why be so conventional? Not, nothing. Start at this, five and end at fifty. This book, everything is like it's an organic thing that happened. I mean, I can't. So anyway, I had this friend called Amit Khanna. Yeah. And these are all Facebook posts, by the way. Yeah, that's the post. It yeah, says. the whole thing. Yeah. So he suddenly uh, said that I'm going to offer the book to HarperCollins. Hmm. They're my publisher, hmm. right? And of course, HarperCollins took one year to say no. Hmm. Right? I and think Harper was okay, Collins gave from <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, what Joy happened? Roy. Whatever, <laughs> yeah. Where's the bimal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but really. So why aren't you writing a book about your dad? But like, anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, so hmm. uh, what happened is when he asked me, I just... Collected everything from, say, chronological date, mm -hmm. X date to Y date, mm -hmm. and sent it to him. Mm -hmm. It never got edited because it nobody looked at it after that. In the sense, finally, when I decided that now I'm so tired, it's already done, I might as well bring it out. Mm -hmm. Right? By that time, the person who was printing it was pissed off with me because I said, you keep making changes. Mm -hmm. No more changes. So I couldn't do anything. So it was like, Afit Akampli, as they say, hmm. which is random. It's got cooking in the middle, something in the end, and there's there's no order, there's no logic, nothing to it. But I like that because, like like you said, offline, you don't yeah. have to, you can you can pick it up anywhere. You can reach page 55 yeah, and then go back. Yeah, yeah. It's all great. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is that I really like the fact that it's not linear, and I thought it was a concentrated effort not to be. Because, you know, the word ramblings also hits me. I like that. The style is very artistic. Like, I'll just write this today, and tomorrow I'll write that. Of course, the Facebook posts have helped because the detailing is very perfect and all there, right? Mm. So I, I was wondering, how would he remember all these things perfectly? But l let's let's go back. Let's start. There's an incident in the beginning which I want to talk about. The parents uh, forced you to swim. You were a little kid. And you talk about being pushed into the water, etc. Uh, right at the top. Oh, yeah. That was the dead you sea. <laughs> You're talking about the dead yeah, sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know how to swim. And I, I still I, not learn. I've got a terrible fear of water. Wow. I've realized that this How age, do you have a bath? That is a problem every day. Yeah. <laughs> I have to struggle to take a bath. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. No, so they just pushed me in. They didn't push. It sounds like no, but a lot of parents have done that. Parents. A lot of parents have done that. It's not Somebody terrible. told me just yesterday just, yeah. that I dropped my kid in the water. That's a new age thingy. Yeah. yeah. The, the brand new baby thing. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like, it looks like murder. But no, apparently they immediately swim. Don't try that. The, the science is out there, but I know I don't want any trouble later. You know, yeah. No, but I think it's quite natural to swim in the sense that kids, for example, in villages and whatever, there's no thinking about it. Yeah. Mine became a cerebral process. Like, but am I moving my you? hand properly? Am I moving my leg at true, the same true. time? Then I can't breathe in the yeah. water. So it was like terrible. I never learned. That's a great point. Mind really screws up everything. <laughs> When you think things through, everything is wrong. From marriage to children to, you know, politics to, Telling me. to, to the bridge that doesn't fit in the Gokhale Bridge, whatever. Everything is wrong. Best to be an airhead. Nothing between the ears. Yeah. Or you just go on impulse. I mean, without killing people, because that's also impulsive to some extent. But uh, so they shoved you in and uh, you didn't, you just you went all the way in into the water? like or just No, no. This much. Okay. And then... I was still feeling fear? It was horrible. <laughs> I know, you know why? Because it was all salt. Yeah. And it yeah, stuck it to my whole body. Yeah. And you in your mouth, when it was total salt, it was... And I was and the, the only one. The smell is different. I know what you're saying. But it. I was the only one there. And I have yeah. no idea why they wanted me to get into the water. Also... It was it an experiment to see? Maybe they didn't want me to... No, no. Also, with. because they couldn't do it in Bombay. They would save, they save on the return ticket if they didn't have... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. yeah. But in Bombay, they can't do that because there's, uh, you know, seas are... There's no salt left, nothing. It's just like gutter water. Yeah, but fit. you know, in Bombay, it's very Did you very ever strange. go to Juhu Beach and get... I have. But the sign that says don't swim in the water faces the water and not the yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So I mean like 
That's that's, fair. As you're drowning is the last thing you see. So that's a fair thing. I I, I do appreciate the Juhu Beach uh, (laughs) volunteers who came up with that. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So let's let's talk about some other interesting uh, moments in the book. There are all kinds. Um, You talk about your sisters. And uh, we were again talking offline about them. They play a prominent part. They keep uh, featuring, etc. Tell us a little bit about the family life and all. I don't want to keep getting the dad into it because I, I don't know if you've had too much of that growing up. And uh, So my family life, I would say that I never knew what my father did. Hmm. Right? Right. He was just a father who went the out to work. Most famous uh, people's family members I, say the same thing. I, have had, no, I had no clue that he was different from anyone else. I only right. thought that... Like, sometimes I used to think, really, do I have a father? I mean, I never see him. Yeah. He'd leave early in the morning. And he'd come back late at night when I was asleep. Hmm. So, I, I'm i not... If you say I'm from a film family, I don't feel... There was never any Hindi music played at home. Thank God. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I I was in Bombay Scottish, and that's... Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll, come, we'll we, come to that. Yeah, I'd be but, singing hymns in the morning, yeah. you know? So, what I'm trying to say is... My upbringing was very, uh, nothing is normal, but yeah. in... But well, you in, didn't have this feeling that this is an iconic not man. At all. Not at all. Redesigned cinema in India, etc. Oh, no. I mean, that only when you're older. Absolutely. And somebody said, oh, Bimal Roy ka beta. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we had Pia Dutt on and she had the same experience of growing up with two classical, you know, famous icons and no idea for a long time, you know. Uh, others in the school and all would have, but she had no idea. It, it takes a little while. People don't realize that if you're... Uh, your famous person's uh, parents or famous parents' uh, child, that you're also just a child, you know, at the yeah, end of the exactly. day. exactly. And so for a lot of people, they don't understand the sameness of childhood. Um, yeah. You mentioned Bombay Scottish, so let's go there immediately. Uh, I don't know whether you were being tongue-in-cheek or being uh, critical, talking about the experience of, like being in Scotland. Being a Scotchy? Yeah. yeah. What was that all about? And you were like a cut above the rest, you know. But then I met my match in cathedral. Yeah, it's my school. Because, yeah, because they would say cathedral, of course. Yeah. I mean, like there was no... No, Bombay Scottish beat the hell out of us in my batch no. in, in terms of studies. No, no. Yeah, they 88, were. 88, 89. We had, we yeah. had very good uh, faculty yeah. in the sense that, you know, people got groomed. I still remember that there was a... So, uh, school expanded into two divisions mm-hmm. when we were in the sixth. And there was a whole influx of new students who came in. And I believe there was a kind of quota that said that you have the first preference should be to children from the, a- the area. Right. So that was predominantly a middle class area. Hmm. Right. And there used to be a school next to us called some, Vic- I can't remember. You can't even remember the school next to Scottish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we called it the Bhelpuri school. That's oh, right. Ouch. Uh, maybe it was Belvedere. I think. But it was called Bhelpuri. Oh my God. So That's a lot so of unfair. students huh. came from there. Huh. And their English was atrocious. Hmm. But by the time they reached the 11th, they were completely fluent and, and comfortable. And had become snobs themselves. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So what the I'm snob- trying to say is snobization were rubbed yeah. and molded into shape. All the P's and Q's, like get up and people, older people, you know. Something that the, the some problem kids with don't our schools, there's three, four elite schools of Bombay, and of course there are many other schools which changed a little bit, is that you have this chip on your shoulder. A lot of people have this chip on your shoulder trying to correct people for the rest of their lives, you know, especially with language and Bombay knowledge. Scottish has become like that. Yeah. One of my neighbors has been going on telling me, you're famous, please write a letter of reference. I said, I'm not famous, excuse me. Hmm. No, no, you studied in Bombay Scottish, my daughter will get admission. I said, you've got a hope in hell, I mean, like. I'm getting admission in Bombay Scottish. Yeah, but that's a game. mathematical problem, no? Because too many people. Too many people. Too and all our old boys, old girls, old dogs, everything. Yeah. What are you going to do after some time? Right. Yeah. Please don't send us letters uh, asking us to write recommendations. All this is just un- unnecessary. <laughs> no, because we're helpless. I, I I also get that a lot. People are asking, can you help? Get me into Xavier's. Yeah. I'm like, I, I don't have the key to Xavier's. You know, I wish I did, but I don't. I mean, don't even know anyone there anymore. My entire whatever may have all gone. Hate to add that conversation. Faculty pass away. You 20, 30 years later, you know, you don't want to say, how's X person, Mr. Professor, yeah, so-and-so. Yeah. And then you hear that, you know, five years ago, gone. So I don't have that conversation anymore. I'm very scared. In fact, even my MTV colleagues, I don't talk about because they're aging. And I don't know if they're there anymore. So I just... Uh, you can't ask after parents nowadays. You can't. Now you have to be... So how's your dad? Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. Right. I know. There's no comeback <laughs> from that. No? It's a terrible uh, cocktail conversation. Bro, what's up? How's dad? Yeah. Oh, he died last week. <laughs> 
limbo pony it's <laughs> terrible abhi sir venture is laughing he loves this he loves the social awkwardness so do i actually yeah so bombay scott is and tell us what happened next because now you can put a more linear spin to everything because this is a, then, like a diary of what happens then yeah my mother thought that she could turn me into a businessman by yeah. sending me to study commerce is the worst decision she made in her It's life paradox in terms of study commerce oh it's where people God. who don't study go i was so unhappy the name was like a morgue so everything went wrong after that i used to come first in class in school hmm. and suddenly i did a nose dive like but why it would have been easier have we have done rigorous studies in bombay scottish i would think the south bombay colleges are much easier to study in in south bombay it was commerce that was a bother you just didn't like the subject how i mean accounts and... like debit Accounts, credit oh, level yeah. okay yeah. you yeah. got to have a fair enough i mean imagine somebody thinking that you can learn business or become business like by studying commerce it's not yeah. even yeah. like what did they do that you, you don't have the capacity to uh, that's my mother anyway and i worship my mother yeah. when i joined hmv i had a friend who said oh his mother's voice hmm. like, oh nice yeah, so nice it was that bad so anyway you you studied in sydney you yeah. felt like a fish out of water actually totally. never didn't enjoy the college life at all i hated it's it. the best time of my life my favorite five years were saviors i know yeah. i really envy you but why but i always the social part you're in salbo with all these colleges around you know i met leopolds uh, bademia didn't you go to all that no i guess i was a very unadventurous kid my i God. didn't go anywhere rewrite I the book i just went straight <laughs> i went straight i yeah i I changed a lot. So you weren't very really social, is it, at that point? Not at all. I was totally. Why? Uh, I hate to say this, but I never felt I was good enough. Maybe it was because I was not doing the but right. But you did thing. so well in school. Why would that? Why would that suddenly become a disconnect? You know what? So I'm a person who goes all in or all out. Meaning, oh. I can't do anything. And so either you're the king of the class, or you're like you don't want to be in. Yeah, there. exactly. Oh. So since I couldn't go I know I know a few much. politicians like you. Yeah. <laughs> I I just I just How opted sad. out it was. The sad. days of our youth are the days of our glory. Lord I, Byron. Yeah. You know I tell myself that don't have any regrets. I keep telling myself never look back. Don't have regrets. But, But you know there is this studying part is that I used to always imagine myself in a beautiful university maybe Oxford, Cambridge, something like that. Anyway, Luckily, my niece went to Oxford and came with me. Manifested so that was in through way, the next generation. Yeah, well, but, but, whatever. But, what I missed out, they got. But Joy, so. I, my memories are we're a little bit. You're one generation earlier, although we look the same age. Um, my memory is that you need a status in college, especially because it's all new people and all that. You know, yeah. status in the sense that, uh, like a chap, like who are you or whatever. Yeah. So you're, you're a swimmer, you're a boxer, you're a actor, and you're Bimal Roy's son. I mean, that word would have got out. You know, I never used my father's name. They didn't know. Your colleagues didn't know that you come from an illustrious family. Never. I never said. I never talk about. I never were, introduced. You were plain myself. old Joy Roy. There was no Bimal in the there name. There was no Bimal in the middle. I was Joy Roy. You see the mistake. So Sunita so Menon was right, huh? And you know how I lopped the Shankar, how? because it was there. How? Ah, uh, so I was working with Sham Benegar. Mm-hmm. and uh, when getting off the plane after a shoot he said bring your passport to uh, office tomorrow we are going to paris in a wow. week's time i said wow what about visas and all that I mean, well, excuse me i didn't have a passport <gasps> okay bombay so, scottish so i affluent said affluent family no huh? my passport was included with my mother's because i never traveled oh. after that like under 12 right at that time yeah, kid yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah. a passport yeah, yeah, yeah. or something anyway attached huh so I was determined to go. Hmm. So now, how do I go? How do I get a passport? So I mentioned it to my brother-in-law, who was a filmmaker, Basu Bhattacharya, hmm. and he said, "Oh no, no problem. Just go to the passport office. You'll get your passport." That time, the pass- chief passport officer was a guy called Rakesh Rivastav, hmm. and so I went and met him, and uh, he said, "Okay, you can come and pick up your passport in the evening." Hmm. Okay, so I said. Do me one favor, please get rid of the Shankar. I don't want that name. But how can he do that? He did it because he was my I brother. You, I want friend. to meet this Mr. Shivasthav. I want to change a few things in yeah. my he other said, card. Huh. He said difficult. I said please try. I mean, like I hated that name in the middle, Shankar. So that's how I became Joy Roy. Then mm. later, because of Sunita Menon, I became Joy Bibble Roy. 
so the people want to know and i don't want to sound like ordner of the greatest indian of all time but what is the passport say exactly now joy roy there's no bimal no so joy roy is is, is the name yeah so it's very confusing because my bank accounts hmm. say joy bimal roy but hmm. my uh, passport says joy roy so i have to i have to change my aadhar card you know from hmm. Take another name. Just take another name. Science. Yeah, whatever. Just take like a Lokesh Mehta or something. Just go for a fully. Just change the no, other card. I'm okay. I'm it's okay. it's all about the picture, and the other pictures present picture in the card. Also, but yeah. yeah, let's not go. Let's back. talk about the hair. Now you you mentioned that. Uh, who influenced you to uh, cut the hair? There's a whole bit on that. Um, yeah, there was this guy. I was doing this. Shouldn't say fraud. Course, no, 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 no. Please it. say. No. Our podcast no. exposes everything in a nice way. No. We're like the ED. Okay, no, don't, don't. But we it. give you coffee. It's like that. Huh. Anyway, I did a course in South Bombay, <laughs> which right. was, which was called Indian Aesthetics. It was okay. not Indian and not aesthetic. <laughs> That's uh, what I discovered yeah, later. Yeah. But oh. it was too late. Anyway. Yeah. So there was this. There was a young guy there. You know, used to keep cribbing like about. Why do you have a hair? It has no got no hair, you know. Like you, oh, you had like a yeah. Amitabh Bachchan. You mentioned that also. But right? had no hair. I mean, like you had them. Haven't the, seen oh, me. Uh, that was before. There, there are pictures when yeah. I tried to be Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? And then but all my curls got cut off, and then I looked yeah. like nothing on earth. Anyway, so yeah, so this guy kept going at me and saying, uh, "I think you know, I think he considered himself to be a stylist or something. You wear all your shirts are too loose." The name, name is Serino Simois. Oh, so. Is Frank Simoes family? No, not from the same. Family. I want names. I want details. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, so he finally said, "Why don't you just have, you know, like, have a crew cut or do something? I mean, keep your hair." And short. this is well before ball became the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So then I went to what was Jean Claude Bigwin or something. What wow. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a huge name. Yeah. So I went there, and I thought I'll have a French stylist, but mm. turned out to be a Naga, right? Mm. And I couldn't understand. Could what be a he good said. stylist. No, but I couldn't understand what he said. Hmm. So I said, "I want a new style." I want to. Before I knew it, he'd gone and swiped off my entire side of the head. Like I went. But technically, he's not wrong. You said yeah, new but, style. Yeah, new style. Yeah. So I came back bald. My sister freaked. What was your reaction when you saw the mirror? I was. I I was beyond words. I kind of choked. I didn't know what to do. So I said, like, "Now he had to complete the rest of the head, right?" That, that was. Yeah, it. this is almost like the show we used to do called MTV Bakra. You know, we've done a lot of these uh, hajam shots. And yeah, all that. I mean, like people. Total, my yeah. head is not by choice. It's completely by accident. No, I remember. But we, it's so easy now. You don't have to worry about style anymore. Yeah. So you don't have to be trendy. I'm always in trend. But the reaction, I'm out of trend. So you you started the whole thing. <coughs> no, 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 you were the no, first. No, I'm sorry, but. By the way, hmm. you know, uh, I I did this big thing, a uh, reading in Bandra Bond, this yeah. restaurant. Yeah. And what my you did uh, ramblings of a Bandra boy in Bandra Bond, just yeah. in context. So yeah. So anyway, so my driver told me afterwards hmm. that वो लोग पूछ रहे थे आप villain है ना फिल्म में. Ah, so stereotypical. Yeah. Uh. yeah so hmm. I mean, like they couldn't apparently when he said no, they didn't. नहीं नहीं देखा है फिल्म. So I mean, like. And there's a there was that Shetty, yeah, you know, famous Trishul picture, yeah, yeah. Amitabh Bachchan, so many yeah, of that them. villain, yeah, yeah, wow. But that's like or a Delhi Savalas, the people okay, who are so that South, depends, South, South depends, Bombay say Delhi Savalas. Delhi Savalas, Savalas. Yeah. That's my age group, uh, please, yeah, yeah. because now they'll again be googling Delhi Savalas, who is Shetty, who is all that, yeah. But anyway, just to tell you, the driver who said this is now working at IBM, <laughs> where he head sales. Or something. We're not sure. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They listen to the show. Just a joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, there are two, three things I want to get into, but we have to take a quick break and then I'll come back, okay. b- which I remember very clearly because they are almost antithesis my personality. We'll take a quick break, but before that, just to tell you once again, go and buy this book. It's Ramblings of a Bandra Boy. It's based on Facebook posts, so there's a lot of uh, intricate detail clearly, which is there, and he has, and but it's. Fascinating. There are also little anecdotes and incidents. Incidentally, son of a very famous illustrious filmmaker, but uh, that doesn't really. Uh, there's no shadow of that in the book. Here and there, there is, but not too much. There's no shadow on me. No, or... there's no shadow. Not yet. Not yet. No, 
I mean, I, I guess you've just been, like you said, it's just like a true thing. You're just trying to be organic and true. So you've just been organic Absolutely. and true. So please read it. It's an easy read. Uh, we'll take a break and then come back. But as we normally do when we take a break, clap your hands. Hey, hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus is joined by social worker and chairperson of the Nargis Dutt Foundation, Priya Dutt Ronkot. Priya takes us on a deeply personal journey, sharing experiences from stepping out with her father at a young age to her current leadership role within the foundation. On Pesa Vesa, Anubam Gupta is joined by three remarkable women, veteran actress Sharbila Tagore, her daughter, actress Soha Ali Khan, and Anita Bhargav, co-founder of the Bharosa Club. They share their personal finance journeys, struggles, and successes, offering valuable insights and advice. Folks, if you like our shows, please spread the word, tell your friends and do not forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IVM Podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Omidyar Network India, IDFC First Bank and ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. All right, uh, welcome back. That's our long break, as usual. And uh, the thing I was complaining about when people who follow our Cyrus Says podcast, etc. will know, is that I'm a huge fan of punctuality. Huge means it's almost the greatest quality for me in, because being in India, it's such a rare quality. So it's, it's almost up there with chivalry and, you know, courage and honor and all that. You're a Parsi. Things. It's not that, it's not that. Parsi is a punctual. But there's a whole chapter about missing planes, oh, yeah. missing trains, and then transferring it to your sister. Transferring it to your sister. Okay, yeah, take us I'm, through. I mean, I was like, oh God, this guy and I, yeah, how we would, I mean, our relationship would have ended. Yeah. You know, I'm in Delhi, the bugger's not even reached Santa Cruz. Yeah. yeah. I can't even talk about it. I mean, like, I. It's, it's, it's chronic. It's a serial it, issue. It's a serial huh. issue. So really. do tell. What is that to tell? No, see, I want to get to the bottom of this whole thing because, you know, there's a com- You and I are unlike each other. No, that's that, the that's, bottom that's line, fine. Right? That's fine. My yeah. point is, but what is the thinking process and why you miss a flight, for example? We just discussed this with Kostov, who works with me, mm. and how I'm always ahead of him. I'm always at the airport and he's always mm. you know, late. And I don't understand how you can be late for a flight or late for a train or late for an appointment. I, you know, whatever. So what's no, this is not a criticism of here. No, no. no. Oh. But you have to beat my family. But yeah. In a sense, my sister's... My sister You said she's st- stolen she, it from you. She has no sense of time. She doesn't wear a watch. Yeah. Zero sense of Neither time. Neither do I. Oh. Yeah, but you can look at your mobile. She doesn't even look at that. Huh. So it, I think, runs in the family, basically. Mm-hmm. We're not very punctual people. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I push my luck, actually. So I'm a, virtually the last one. I still remember that I went running with the, my shoes in hand and the belt hmm. because I couldn't put them on hmm. in the sense after the security check, there hmm. was no time. I was going to miss the flight. Right. I, came in, I was holding these You're holding things, shoes. Shoes this in is my pre, hand. This uh, 2001, 9-11 and all, no? Yeah. But it yeah. was a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. God, now you have to... No, I'm just I'm thinking... Almost the strip search. The way they I mean, take off your belt, now you, your shoes, then you go back again. Now something is that. clicking. I mean, like, you know, Joy, don't you? nightmare. Like, the, the, I hate Every airport, hate airport, they have these like, ridiculous people standing outside the airport who take three and a half minutes per customer or passenger. Which yeah, is why I'm giving you my license. I'm giving you my ticket. It says uh, A1 seat or whatever, yeah. going to Jaipur or whatever. And it says Cyrus Brochard. I'm giving it to you. But it, they still have to check. Why do you take three minutes? I'm holding it with my thumbs, making it easy for you to see mm-hmm. the exact point. I, I, Get Digi Yatra. I, I'm thinking about it, but this other people are scaring me and saying that once you give Digi Yatra, they have... All a, your biometric <coughs> details. Yeah, yeah so more than biometric it. accounts and all that they can get into. Really? Is I it know. true? Maybe. You and me as technocrats, let's discuss this. <laughs> I think by the time you have you done your Aadhaar card, you already... I think so. I think we're already done for. Yeah, We're so done just, for. It's, it's like molestation. Yeah. You just grin and bear it totally. now. Don't, don't make a big totally. deal. Yeah. Ho we gaya to ho gaya. We have nothing. It's the algorithms you... Like something on Amazon, the next time you're bombarded with ads of the same thing. I mean, they, they, you know, somebody told me that they actually feel that they're listening even at home. They're talking about something and the next thing they know is that there's a 
You feel that we are being bugged here? Uh, I think that's a little paranoia, but you never know uh. because the fact that we are actually having this conversation. But I think also there's a little bit of this where we uh, basically don't understand enough about technology. Huh. Okay, we we know a little bit, like five ten percent, and that little knowledge is very dangerous. Am I right? So what happens is you start getting paranoid because you don't know enough. So that's my fear because I I hear something there. Like these young guys in the studio are much better. If they say something, then that puts fear into me immediately, already. Because I'm from the '90s, the '80s to some extent, and then I grew up really in the '90s. And you know, but uh, I think I like pen and paper. Same here. If I want to abuse you, if I want to start a litigation, I'll carry it on pen and paper and give it to you. I'll type it on an old typewriter. Well, the only thing I'll say is that I feel about my generation, particularly, that being able to transition. Yeah. From the old to the new, so, so you can use say. a comp, but do you understand how everything runs. No, and I don't even try. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I've reached an age where I think the less I know, the better. You're like Socrates. Mm-hmm. I mean, like why clutter my brain with knowledge that or is not Are everything is need I to people. need to know basis. Yeah. Like, do I need to know this? No. I don't need to know it. So like like this podcast will go out of your system very quickly. <laughs> But you really didn't need to know this. What podcast? Ah, gone, gone, beta. <laughs> Already gone. Yeah. Okay. I have a one more story which I want to uh, push in, which yeah. is a, a true story that happened to him. Which I, again, I think it's like a. This should be a movie, or at least a serial. If, if the serial of your life was made, because it comes also from the fact that you know you're a little blase about these things. You went into an airport, going to USA without um with with a six day expiry on the passport. Okay, tell tell us that whole story because nobody knows that US is the only country that allows you to go right till the nth yeah. zenith yeah. of your I passport found date. Out, I found out and the then hard you know, way, and you school the 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 yeah. guy, the immig- yeah. immigration yeah. guy. But yeah. Yeah. you tell it. So what happened is that I was on twenty eighth of April. I was flying out on 9th of May. On ninth, yeah. Uh, on twenty eighth of April, I. Uh, I had in, I've installed a sculpture mm-hmm. uh, in my mother's name on the Banstone Promenade. Oh wow! So the inauguration was on twenty eighth of April, mm-hmm. right? So everything else went out of my mind about that I'm going to the states, some preparation, what to do mm-hmm. for an exchange, whatever. So I started doing all that after the twenty eighth of April. Mm-hmm. I said now finally, let me start. So I go to the bank for that. You know, it's called a. What is that card called? Credit card? No. <laughs> Debit card? No, it's called a forex. Diwali greeting card? Forex card. Forex card. Again, yeah. my generation. Yeah. So I went to the bank and she said, uh, I gave the passport and she said, I don't think you can go. I said, what do you mean? She said, yeah, because your passport expires in like, I don't know, some 20 days or something. Some yeah. Crazy thing like that. Yeah, my trip was only ten days. It was cut days. to cut. It was cut to yeah. cut. Yeah, right? you just had a few days left. I said, left. but I, it's on. She said, yeah. no, it has to be valid for six months at least. Yeah. So I, my luckily my travel agent is in Bandra, so mm. I kind of, he footed it to his place, and I said I was kind of by that time panting. Mm. I said, <laughs> what do I do? Mm. You know, so he smiled at me. Bull. Mm. You know, US is the only country, but the people at the airport didn't know. Yeah, I'm told by those guys you can't go. I said, "What do you mean you can't go?" Mm. I said, "My travel agent is a huh." All of the kuch bhi bol deta, paise ke liye, nahi ja sakte wahan. I said, "I'm telling you, you have to check." Yeah, I was made to wait half an hour. Mm. Finally, I was allowed to go. By which time. I was almost missing the flight, yeah. and then on that flight, I left my wallet See, behind. These things make me really scared. That's why I like go on time and you know make sure all these things. My don't life happen. has been very scary. No, you're not. You 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 just took a chance and went there. I mean, you sort of knew that whatever the travel agent gave you the news about US or whatever. But I'm saying you're dealing with a but, man-to-man thing. And the guy says no, I I won't accept your passport. What are you going to do? That's true. No, yeah. if I couldn't have gone, but I was no no because I knew that I was right. Hmm. That's why I stuck to it. Yeah. So even the Did airline, apologize? even the airline people, they were very kind of yeah. They didn't apologize, but then how much I mean, how can you admit that you made a mistake? Yeah. Nobody admits. Once you reach the US, there's no problem. Not at all. They look at your passport; they only blink. Not at all. Yeah. Wow. There's yes. no problem. Yeah. Because they don't have that thing. They just want to see that your stay uh, will end before the yeah. expiry Plus date. Plus, they thought you were Telly Savalas, so you know, welcome home. 
long time, not because. Excuse me, San has a San Jose Airport is like you had an airport in Le, I don't know, Chinchpokli or somewhere. Was it? Know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's too late now. Your elitism is uh, it's a small, very airport. transparent. I very think. small airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I mean, look at the airports that are coming up in India now. My God. Really, my big worry about the airports only is the connections. How do we actually get to everything? Now, it's looking better, but I'm still a little worried. What do you mean? How do I... See, I live in nowhere. It's a place called Malba Hill where the poor live. And we are not connected to anything. Like mm. right now, this coastal road in South Bombay that has happened... But that helps Beach Candy, it helps Worli, it helps Prabha Devi. I still have to leave Malba Hill and find my way. Like, nobody could take a train from Malba Hill, no? because Grand Road Station was... This is a very yeah, local conversation. I, Please go right. away, we'll call you when we're ready. It's uh, not meant for people who don't have their own transport. It's and face fact. For, uh, four to five cars per family and six to seven drivers. Okay. You over-employ everybody in my lane. There are five people standing I mean, outside buildings with no work. how can you not? They're like VJs. Yeah, yeah. Your, your prestige, your yeah. whole social standing will go no, down. No, literally, this is uh, Mims up, Madam, Beta, Bunty Doggy. Ka hai. Uh, they, they just stand there doing nothing. No, actually, I have a friend who has a, a car for his dog. What, what's the friend's name? See, I'm, very, I'm a huge dog lover, so that's allowed. That's not a bad thing. His name is Sajid Malik. Sajid Malik. Is he from my part of town? Oh, Sajid, we love you. And make sure that the car for the dog continues. No, I have to tell you. Car for the wife? Mm, car for the dog. Yeah. But Sajid is the most understated guy I've ever met. Once somebody... So we have this is group... Is the Anomalik the, family? No. Oh. We have this group called the Barista Bitches. Believe it The Barista not. Bitches. Now yeah. that's the next book, guys. Check that out. Coming soon. <laughs> huh. We used to walk Bansan Promenade and meet for a coffee. Right. right? So Sajid is part of it. Hmm. So one day, one of them said, you know, I've never seen one of your dad's movies. Let's watch it all together. So I said, okay, where? I said, where are we going to watch it? So Sajid said, very kind of, they'll watch it in my office. How could you watch a movie in an office? Nobody said anything. They said, we have to go to Thana. I said, oh my God, <laughs> like an office in Thana. Do you know he has an auditorium in oh, his wow. office? Huh. He's the pioneer he of Google Maps. Like he started mapping huh. before Google started mapping, wow. and now he does it for Google. But but, Plus he's but got what was he doing then? Company. When he has his auditorium, what was his work? That's what he has. He has a finance company and IT company. He's a shady guy. It's not really clear what he does. Good auditorium. He's a finance guy, but he helps Google uh, because he was mapping. In the he's going to kill me, Sajid Malik. I'll have to do my due diligence. I have to yeah. check. Rishi, upload the Sajid Malik He file. just lost his mother. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm let's sorry, be... Sajid, yeah. we love you. Yeah. Just ramblings of truly. a Malwa Hill idiot. Truly, yeah, truly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he's close he enough, also, we can take chances. He also has a recreation room. He has a full canteen which serves you Bombay sandwiches or whatever. Uh, like non 20, 25,000 square feet or something. Wow. So. Unbelievable. I don't know why they say Garibo Ka Desh, you know, when you tell me these stories. Uh, the dog has his own car. He's got 25,000 square feet in an auditorium. We don't even know what he does. He's got this a beautiful rich golden people. retriever. Absolutely adorable. What a beautiful one. dog, really. Golden retriever. Zoe. Have you been seeing these videos on uh, YouTube? Uh, uh, which they talk about whether your spouse or mother, father, sister, sibling, friend is a golden retriever. You know, hmm. like that super good person, happy yeah, with I everyone, know. friendly with everyone. But, so there's no, you manifest into hum, human humanity around you, and you find someone who's just it's actually irritatingly good after some time because you have a you know we all have up and down moods and all that. Yeah. And the golden retriever person, who's like the personified version of the golden retriever, is Mister Super Good and Super Happy. You got to have someone yeah, like that. Just beautiful. They're beautiful, but it's irritating because you can't reach that. Uh, so my sister, by the way, has sixteen cats. There's a whole thing about uh, forty. At one stage, forty-four, 44. cats. My goodness, world record. Read it. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah, I'm yeah, impressed. Yeah. You yeah, read yeah. quite a bit. Huh? No, no, I'm the real deal. Authentic. I may be a very bad anchor, but I do my research. <laughs> yeah. So take it. Yeah. Let's talk about the cats then. Yeah. Oh my! What God. the hell were you doing with forty-four cats? Big animal lover, lovely idea, but you no, know, no, I mean, no, it's no, not no, easy. No, those, 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 that was a long time ago when we didn't know that cats could be operated and whatever. Oh, so you so just had to keep nursing them. I mean, like every six months, there'd be a whole thing. It was like cumulative. Uh, yeah. yeah so. They breed very quickly. They're worse than Indians. <gasps> Telling me. Yeah. Anyway, so then my, so my family is my sister, my mother herself. Hmm. My mother was, you know, she lived in Banaras. Hmm. Um, she was the original Halle Berry, Catwoman. Halle Berry is Fair Catwoman, yes. Yeah. It's the worst film ever made, but what a yeah. lovely idea. Yeah. Oh. You almost, you reminded me. God, yeah. it was bad, yeah. No, I'm just saying that my mother apparently 
so my mother, by the way, mm -hmm. I would like to say Please. that uh, I discovered after she passed away that she was one of India's first women photographers. Oh, wow. And there's been research done. Two women have done their thesis on my mother. Oh. And, and my mother had a twin. Both of them uh, are, the, you know. Pioneers. Pioneers. Complete pioneers. Both of them were. Uh, yeah. Now, can I've I had exhibitions all over India. Can I tell you the instant karma you've done right here? Well, my yeah. wife hmm. is a photographer. That's actually her professional. Although really? now she paints and all those other things. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell so her. There's a, there's a little connect. The first female photographers and then down to a generation later where they no, were. No, not first female. Let's just make it first. first. No, but Mr. they were Roy, I hereby decided it is the first. Okay. That's right. it. I'm very proud of yeah, my mother. I'm happy to say yeah. that. In fact, your aunt comes second. Man. <laughs> <laughs> not just kidding. Yeah. The uh. twins, yeah. So let's talk about work for a while. There's a bit where you... One second. Yeah, sorry. So I'm telling you about animals, oh, please. right? Yeah. yeah. So my mother grew up in Ramnagar. Her father was the principal of a school there, which was owned by the Maharaja. The Maharaja of Banaras lives in Ramnagar. Right. So apparently they went and they shot a tiger oh. and there was a cub. Oh. And because they knew that this my mother... Ja Jackie Shroff's son. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Couldn't resist. Apologize. Absolutely. Oh. Oh. So he gave the tiger cub to my mother and her uh, twin. Wow. And finally it started growing, obviously. So they had to give it up, but they oh. were heartbroken. God, but they also, I had a tiger. Have, they also had all these. So it comes from my mother, this mad craziness about animals. Mm -hmm. So my niece also, for years, her ID was a cat called Felix, mm -hmm. who was the love of her life. Mm -hmm. You didn't see Mishka. Her name was Mishka. She was called her. That's how mad they are. But so do you believe the That's the same niece who was your fan and met you. Oh, Mishka. nice! In two thousand, yeah. But but uh, do you see a divide between cats and uh, dogs uh, people in that sense, or are you? No, happy they, with are, both? they are they uh, are how would holistic animal people. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. That's good to know. I think I'm more a dog person than a cat. Fair, no, I know, I know that. I, I, I don't say that people like all animals exactly the same. But You're, it's true that people who like dogs hate cats. That I find terrible. Hate, that I find also strange. If you're fond of animals, you're fond of animals. I mean, humans don't do that. If you're from one community, you don't hate another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> He's Bimal Roy's son. So, they made realistic cinema. Let's, let's talk uh, honestly. Let's have an honest narrative. Once in India, who has the bollocks to do that? Nobody, apparently. All right, we'll get back. No, I, so I, I, one more thing I wanted to ask you, which is uh, there was this competition you had, and, and these names, Wendell Rodericks and uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you know, all these big names, Tarun Tihaliani, all the, who became legends in the business and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, w what was that all about? I, I didn't. Well, first of all, I fibbed. It had to be under 30. I wasn't under 30. Huh. But it was my, I wanted to see how I fared in the mm. sense that. I, I never thought that I'd win or anything. I just wanted to know my capability. Like, am I talented. good enough? Am I talented? Yeah. Is Does it really... And, and by the way, all these big names, today's big names, were not known. They all kid, young they were all, people. They yeah. were all unknown. Unknown. All yeah. known. Yeah. Every single person you can... Rohit Pal, uh, Wendell, Wendell Rodericks, Tarun, Tarun Tahiliani, Sunit, uh, uh, something Rao, Priyabdashini Rao or something. <laughs> I mean, like, you just Sunit Verma. Sunit Verma, yeah, sorry. Huh. You just named them. There was another Rohit Bal and Rohit. Yeah. Uh, now you're pushing my memory, but yeah, you're right. There's he died. Name. He was a very, Rohit Khosla. Khosla. Khosla, yeah. Wow. Every single person was on that. Yeah. So it was like a, a, I just took a try. Mm -hmm. And it. I was one of the. There were many, I think. There were about 40 finalists. Ah, these are the something. famous ones who became famous yeah, later. But, but there, there, were, were, there were many people, yeah. And what I didn't know is that they had a show, uh, a ramp walk mm -hmm. in Delhi. That time my friend Malvika Sangvi, she was in Delhi. Mm -hmm. So she told me, you know, I heard your name. There was this uh, design, uh, some, uh, there was a dress, and they said Joy Roy, and was that you? I said, yeah, it was me. So at least I knew that but I didn't do anything about it. I guess that. He, 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 so you uh, tested yourself with the best yeah. or whatever, and then you let it go. That's my life. Yeah. Is it? Is, but this is fair. Which you're being. I guess it's always therapeutic when people write these books and you look back, etc. But is there any embarrassment in this book that you look back and say, "What happened there?" Wait, 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 an awkward. Many. Yeah. But, Haven't you seen? No, I have. But I'm, I'm saying quite for you. Self-deprecatory. Throughout, absolutely. Yeah. So I, 
So I, I'm glad that I can laugh at myself. Mm -hmm. So what I do is, it's like actually a safety measure because before people can laugh at me, I laugh at myself. So I kind of like the pull, the rug, of from, the past, yeah. pull the rug from under there just in case. See, mm. I, mm. I beat you. Mm. That kind mm. of thing. Yeah, so embarrassing moments, there are many. But I can't remember any particular... Okay, don't 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 try and think. I, I laugh at funerals. That's a different thing. Yeah, so that, that's a but that's a, there are a few people who do that because it's a nervousness. Actually, it's not a disrespect. It's a, you're trying to cope, right? Well, no, it's not. You think there's I, an anger? I mean, no, that's no, really no, mean. No, Mr. Sharma has passed. Just, and, just imagine the yeah, situation. Yeah. So my guru is being cremated, right? Mm. And I'm standing next to his granddaughter, and it's all very solemn. Obviously. And suddenly one guy keeps, he loses his cool and he shouts and screams. So I said, who is that? He said, Meri, Mera Pati. Hey? So I was like, so I cracked up. I mean, but why was he shouting? No, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Then she, then she said, Mere saath bhi aisa hua tha. So again, I laughed some more. And then she also started laughing. It was so In weird. In front of everyone? Yeah. That, that kind of thing probably only happens to me. No, I, I think it could happen. I, I avoid eye contact at funerals which are low intensity for the person in the sense that you have to be there but you're not really connected deep enough. Mm. Because I think if you make eye contact and somebody smiles or something, you know, it's just becoming a classroom. You know, and the gravity of the situation goes out of the window yeah. and it can look disrespectful. Then again, what the hell are you going to do? Someone's dead, it's dead. Like, when I'm dead, please come and laugh. I don't care, honestly. I mean, how will I care? I'm dead. I think people... A very good point. People take it to... I keep telling people, you know. It's not really disrespectful. Yeah. You're just not in the moment. That's all there is to it. Absolutely. People make a big deal out of it. And you know, everybody else acts, puts on the mascara, puts on the dark glasses, looks down, well, chill they have down. designer clothes designer ready clothes. for funerals. Yeah, right? which is what? They, they a mark of respect? What? I don't get it. Yeah, really. The yeah. mark of then you look at who's wearing it. I wish people what. would do what they really want to do, you know, like if you want, don't like the guy you spit into the pyre or whatever. But that would be more realistic, you know. I, I, I would accept that. I saw a series just... Yeah? Yes, just the day, day before yesterday. It's called Alphonse. You should watch it. Mm -hmm. it's Is it a mango story? I wish. Oh, mango season. No, it's about a guy who... Narcos. Oh, listen to me. He's I, a guy, he's Stop a guy huh. who deals in watches and one day he's mugged and he works for that company. Hmm. And he hears again simultaneously, he loses his job and hears that his father is in hospital hmm. and he hates his father because he thinks the mother has run away because of the father. Then he discovers that the father has been earning money all these years by being a gigolo. Oh. And now he spiralized ways downwards, so he trains his son to take his place. <laughs> so, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Anyway, so at one point in time, they show this woman hmm. who is very rich in, uh, they're, they're in Tuscany and there's a, a funeral going on, her husband. Hmm. So she says, Somebody whispers to somebody, and then they say she wants to be alone with him. Mm. She what she goes and does is spits on him. Oh, so lovely! What you said is that uh, if people were really honest, yeah, really honest, she was really honest. You know, she went and spat. There's so many people who are so glad they disliked dead. in their lifetime, and the WhatsApps that follow when they die. You know, may soul rest in peace. You know, whatever. Yeah, rip. Om. I hate that rip. Rip, rip, rip. No? It's so, it's so cold. Yeah, it's not like rip. It's so. It's uh, uh, people don't understand how cold it is to see that as a message. Just you know, I, I don't know. Even just a simple heart. If you had to, I don't think anything. No, you can that. write. If why, why can't you write rest in peace? I mean, like yeah. how much if effort yeah. is it? Yeah. No, but when you have a generation writes L O L O L yeah. and you know FOMO oh, I know. and whatever. I know. Then what do you expect? Yeah. No, rip is hardly... Also, they send you a WhatsApp text and they upload an Insta picture of them in, you know, Bali with their kids having a good time. The tell you, social media is disconnect like, complete. To tell you. Please I'm sorry. Do. Yeah. Oh. This is like... Is the, I cannot explain this, but you, you are a social media person. You can explain this. Me? I went, I was invited to a holy party at Soho House. Mm -hmm. And I ended up on the wrong floor. Hmm. Right? So there was this heavy disco type of thing going on, people swimming you in the pool. You presume that was the party? I I was told to go to the 10th floor. The party was apparently, my party was on the 8th floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm wondering what the hell is going on. I lasted exactly 10 minutes. Mm. But I took a video, like, you know, 30 second video. Mm. 
it's been seen by 2,27,000 wow. people. And it's still counting. I'm fascinated. I want that video. Can we air the video? Yeah, you could, I suppose. Well, what's going on in that video? What's so great nothing. about it? Nothing. So nothing you. once worked the best. Guys, who no, get... I have, I have, and there are some 700 shares. There's 1,000 hours that people have wow. spent watching it. Really? Amazing. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell is in that. Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's like Ori. I mean, like... It's great, man. Amazing. I have to say hats off. Or Han is doing five very managers well. And five managers. 15 lakhs to say hello or something. Yeah. No, 30 lakhs. Oh, 30 lakhs to say hello. Yeah. I mean, you can meet the home minister less. You know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That's social media yeah. for you. And he's a South Bombay boy, so I'm proud. Yeah. yeah. All good. Um, the, the one last thing I want to talk about, which is the bandra bit, because it's in it's in the book. In fact, I was in the gym in the morning. I was trying to show the boys and all that. So a couple of guys who have moved from uh, that side of town to this side of town and all discussing it. Uh, what's your take on bandra between growing up in the seventies, eighties, and uh, you know? Well, you know, I would say that bandra is still bandra mm -hmm. in many ways. Bandre, bandre, bandre. Hey, I will do bandre. Yeah, I mean, if Bombay is Mumbai, then yeah. Bandra can be yeah. Yeah. It's not, not the true, It's not true to say what's in a name. But there's a lot in a name. I hate saying Mumbai. I cannot stand it. Anyway. Look, please tell us why. Why? Because I was born in 1955, excuse me. And it was Bombay. Yeah. And you don't want to change. And it was Bombay till I was 90 40 or yeah. what, whatever. Yeah. Suddenly, yeah. you have... Your city name change. I mean, how? I so that's why Bongs are quite happy. Because Kolkata is Kolkata. They yeah. just never say yeah. Calcutta. But yeah. there are Bong. We call them. But bong I never range. had a problem in Kolkata when I say Calcutta. There's no issue with anyone. They don't no, care. No, Nobody not cares. At all. Even in Chennai, we worked with a Madras Rotary Club. But they keep the name Madras. High Court keeps Madras. Yeah. Not a so major Madras, issue with the anyone. The club is called. But in Madras Bombay, it was. People start oh, saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Mumbai. You know, no, Maharashtrans are very militant. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, we have two Maharashtrans right here. So Doesn't yeah, matter. Be careful. Huh. Too bad. Talk softly. Right. You can hear everything. <laughs> yeah, I'll be killed. If you don't mind, it's about the book, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, I'll be blurred from the thing. <laughs> he carries a kirpan, even yeah. though he's Maharashtrian. It's a little confusing. <laughs> huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, so just coming back to now Bandra, uh, with all the Bandra. digging up. Bandra, Bandra, of course, has changed. So, look. It's, I, I have this wonderful memory of, uh, so we had a, a Gujarati family living opposite us, the Modis, hmm. and the gentleman didn't work because he was Very a, rare. Gujarati family gentleman didn't I work. I know, but wow. he was very different. This is a photo you should have taken. So they, they had oh. a house with a fountain in front. Hmm. So they were, apparently there were some nine, some Nine families who had given one lakh to somebody. They were called the Navlakhi. So they were. Oh. He was one of those families. They had a whole market or something. They used to live on rent. No one lakh in those Landlords. days. That's a lot of money, right? And much before time. It's a lot of money now. The way we are paid. Really. So Madhavdas uncle would stand at the gate in the morning and say hello to all the people who are going to office. Right? <laughs> Sounds like senile, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So no, that was his socializing. Oh. And in the evening, he'd come back to hear how their day went. Which means that Mount Mary was a road on which there were such few people that everybody knew everybody. Oh, nice. Yeah. And now, The village I don't Hamlet know, feel, you mean? I don't know anyone on Mount Mary Road. It grew too fast, no? Suddenly yeah. became the hustle and bustle of Mumbai. It was a so the first building that came up was right next to us, Balmoral. That, hmm. that was 1969. Right. So the chain started in 1969, and then there was no stop. But you actor types and you Bollywood types were responsible for all this sudden, you know, growth of. Uh, you don't look at me and say Bollywood. I'm uh, you, I, that's another word I hate. I heard, uh, you said offline. Yeah. He did say. Yeah. It's yeah. In this, it's I Indian cinema. Indian cinema. Indian. Yeah. Cinema. Oh, that's fair. I don't know how it became Bollywood. I mean, where did the, the original From of Hollywood, that? obviously. No, that, yes. But who, it must who? have been Shobha Dev. It could have been Stardust in those, Stardust, that period Stardust where... Stardust started They English. gave all the labels. Yeah. yeah. I used to... Like, yeah. They, they always called Rajesh Khanna Phenomenon. Yes. Remember? God, I remember this. Yeah. My God, I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, they changed the face of... Mm. Uh, then Angry film. Young Man. Yeah, yeah Angry Young Man yeah. for Amitabh, yeah. They changed the whole uh, 
what should the gossip that yeah. Neeta's natter, whatever. But in a way, it grew because of that, didn't it? Because of uh, cognitive functioning. But I, ultimately, even the film fair, the stodgy dodgy had to bite the dust. And yeah, may I be honest? Because I was a young boy growing up, late 80s and all that. I love reading Stardust. So there's something about gossip. It is very funny. It was funny, but you couldn't stop reading it. It's like very a page reading. You can't deny I it. I still remember there were one one Christmas, there were Christmas gifts, the yeah. stations, you know. Yeah. So one was uh, toothless combs for bald, bald people. I mean, <laughs> like, you know. Nice. It was complete. It's sensitive. And, and yet they not. said the three ashas. There was hippie, there was throaty, and there was busty. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of really... Yeah, it yeah. Was it, it, it was throaty. out there. It was yes, out there. Throaty was. Probably not very woke. To yes, with throaty. Yeah. Throaty was. Yeah. Asha was. Something. Yeah. Oh, is that? Throaty. Yeah, throaty. Yeah. Hippie was Asha Pan. Somebody's Pani. tattle. In a Big thing. hips. Yeah. She'll kill me if she ever sees this. I don't think no, so. Well, that's not you. That's the and Stardust there's to team. Be, there used to be an actress called Asha Sajdev. She yes. Was, she was busty. Okay. So these were the threats. Let me do the match. <laughs> Mac and <the> match this way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bit too late. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, we have to wind it up here. I fell asleep in Shobhade's launch. Why? She's. I, I love know. her. She hates me. Why? Because I fell asleep and I wrote about it on Facebook. No, but falling asleep doesn't mean you don't like something. Again, people, it's like a yeah, funeral thing, you know. People just... Apparently, it snowed as well. Munni, I was sitting next to Munni. She yeah, told me, you may have I didn't wake you up because you, you were may snoring. Have sleep I said, hello. You may have all kinds of issues, you know. People are not as understanding as I'm you. I'm very understanding. Us. People fall asleep wherever I go. Really? They're like, sir, <laughs> Amazon say parcel, the guy falls asleep. It's like that. It's no biggie. Anyway, I'll patch up. I'm quite close to Shobha. She's, I'll patch up the relationship. Don't worry. She's been on the show. Okay. okay. Uh, sorry, but uh, running out of time. Joy Roy. See, I really like that name. I, I know you've moved on. and whatever. You can call me Joy Roy. I just think it's got a it great ring name. to it. It's got a star quality. It's Joy Roy. Name. Name. Karte hai. Yeah. Joy Roy. <laughs> You see that? You see the feeling that I get immediately? Oh, now, if I do Joy Bimal Roy, it sounds like, you know, this is an intelligentsia like trying to I push their agenda. Bimal Roy, but yeah. I didn't get there. Yeah, you mean, Which wait, I didn't. So. Joy Bimal Roy gives me a very left of center feeling and all that. You know, you're completely there now. You're representing who you really are, in a sense. But Joy Roy, I don't know who you are. I just get this star treatment from Joy Roy. Joy Roy. Joy Thank Roy, you. Joy you made my day. Yeah, I'm just. I'm an idiot. You're making so, me into a star. Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> just It's like bad food once you're done with the podcast. Just, you know, regurgitate. But let's end on the note of ramblings of a Bandra boy from um, the one and only Joy Roy. Joy Bimal Roy, let's call him what he's, uh, the moniker in the book. Uh, lots of lovely tidbits, anecdotes. Also for people who grew up maybe um, 20, 30 years ago, you'll be able to get the references even better. And of course, if you're younger, just Google but they're fantastic. We'll end with one last story about the physiques of Chintu, a.k.a. Uh, Rishi Kapoor. It's there in the book! And Jitendra. Uh, your good friends, as, as a young man. Jitendra was a very well-built guy. Yeah, all around. Can you tell the story without being too non-vegetarian? And Yeah, so there was this, I don't know, for some reason I became a member of that health club and I never did, I had no health or yeah. whatever. So I used to wander there. Everybody was stuck naked. It was like... But why do you guys... You know, my son was... Why do you not understand when you go to a health club or a club or whatever, people when they... You know, they, they, they all hang out. No, but they used to hang out like they didn't need to preen in front of the mirror, right? All the time. But everybody does that. Anyway, going forward? Yeah. So your best assets or your worst assets yeah. are exposed. Basically. And you gave Jitendra a 10 on 10. Yeah. This is way back then. And I don't want to talk about you. I love him. So, but Jintu He's and dead. Shobha I love. I know, but they're just fantastic. But that doesn't matter. We're still friends. All good. All right. Uh, check out the book, Ramblings of a Bandra Boy. We'll leave you with a happy picture of the author who's uh, finished the podcast and is now ready to drink the worst coffee in the Bandra area. Thank you.